Howdy folks, Jake here again with Banjo Ben. And today I wanna to talk about what I think is pretty much the most handy little thing to have in your case as far as keeping in tune goes. Um, not to downplay the uh, importance and, and convenience of an electronic tuner, because those are great, but what I've always got in my case at all times is one of these bad boys right here. Just a regular tuning fork. This one's to an A note. Uh, you can get them tuned to different notes. I, I prefer the A because I like to tune harmonically, uh, you know, with a guitar, obviously. And uh, you have uh, several A harmonics on a couple different strings to tune to. Uh, but not only for guitar, you can also find A harmonics on banjos, uh, mandolins, you know, violins, if you will, uh, basses even. So pretty much uh, even dobros. It covers a whole... Uh, the whole line of, of bluegrass instruments. Uh, so this works, the, the A works really well with that. That's the most common. So I just wanna show you kinda of how it works today and kind of explain how not only is it a good thing to have in your case because you you know the tuning fork can never run out of batteries and most people won't borrow it and run off with it because most people aren't gonna know how to use it. So <laughs> it has two advantages there, but also it can be a big advantage to learning how to train your ear uh, to hear when the instrument's in tune and, you know, to rely less on an electronic tuner to tell you when it's in tune. So it's it's very uh, kind of primitive and simple. How it works, we simply just give it a whack. So you just kind of hit it. Uh, usually if I'm sitting down or, or even standing up, I'll hit it on my knee. You know, I'll bring my knee up and do that if there's nothing else around. And that's sufficient. You can hear it creating that nice A note. Um, but I'll just bang it on the table here or my chair or something just for the point of demonstration's sake. So we just give it a whack and then you're just gonna place it on the top of your instrument. On the guitar, I like to place it on the bridge up here. Um, gets a nice loud note out. So your guitar is ap actually amplifying that note or whatever instrument you're using. So you can hear that A. So where I find an A a uh, harmonic of that same pitch on the guitar, I'll go to the seventh fret on the D string. And you just, what when you, when you get a harmonic, you just lightly touch the string. You don't press it to the fret. You'll lightly touch the string with the left hand right over the fret, and then give it a good solid strike with your thumb, or you can use a pick. I'll demonstrate that to, to make it a little louder. That's gonna give you your A note. So I was just messing around with this before turning the camera on here and it's, it's already in tune. But what we wanna do is we wanna hit that A note and you kinda have to do it quickly. Uh, so I'll explain what I'm doing before I do it. I hit the A note, then I give the tuner a smack, set it on a bridge and I want those two notes to match. And as you'll see, they pretty much do. And how you'll know when they match, let me demonstrate what it's gonna sound like if they don't. Um, and and this, this is the big part of the ear training, and this is the really cool part. You'll hear a wavering effect. It'll sound like wah, 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 whenever it's not in tune. So let me show you what that sounds like. Hopefully you can hear that through the phone. I've never tried to record this before. Um, that the further out of tune it is the faster the beating is I, I just put it a little further out of tune you hear how fast it's waving now it's going real quick so here's here's the cool part so I've got an out of tune string I'm going to hit my harmonic smack my tuning fork and then I'm going to bring the string up into tune as I hold it together. And here's, here's where the ear training part takes place. So, uh, let's see here, get to where you can hear this. So if you heard that, as I tune the string up, the beating got slower and eventually smoothed out. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that real smooth uh, note. You don't want the beating effect. So let me demonstrate that one more time. 
So you hear my strings obviously out of tune, it's flat. So we'll do that one more time. I'll try to go a little slower and more deliberate with it. Hopefully you hear that. I think that's just really cool. So now I have an A string that's back in tune. And that's, that's a real simple, easy way to do it. It's good for training your ear. Once I have the A string that's in tune, I can tune harmonically across the other strings. And kind of a neat way you can do that on guitar anyway is, uh, pardon my, my, my alarm there. That's just telling me that FedEx is here with a, another load of, of good stuff for you guys. <laughs> um, I can hit this note this harmonic at the seventh fret and then go to the, the string above it, the low, the next lower string and hit the same, uh, harmonic note at the fifth fret. And so I can match those up the same way I match the tuning fork notes up. Hear that? And then I can go to the, I can follow that on down to the next string. Should have two of the same notes. And then I can even go back across from the D to the G And you do that, you have four strings that are perfectly in tune. Now, it won't work from the G to the B string because we got a, a half step uh, shorter throw on our scale length there on that B string. Um, but with, with those four in tune, most of the time on the B string, you're gonna tune the note a little, just a hair flat anyway. Um, it's called a tempered tuning. They do the same thing on a piano because some chords just don't sound right unless you kinda uh, adjust the note just a little bit. They just don't mix well. So anyway, I uh, just want to show you that. I thought, it, I've, I've just always liked these. I always thought they were cool. They're a great way to train your ear how to hear the notes. And um, like I said, they, they have other advantages as, as well. You can always be sure you're going to stay in tune and you know, you do, you're not relying on batteries or anything like that. So uh, just a, a real cool thing to have in your case. I recommend everyone have one somewhere. So uh, the guitar I'm showing here today is one of the limited edition Eastman E1SS in natural top. We have them in, in Sunburst and in the smaller body naturals too. And uh, they're really cool. I mean, $7.99 come with a case. Uh, they've got a, a, a nice satin finish to them, Adirondack top with a slope shoulder, advanced brace design, good ebony fingerboard and bridge, open back tuners, etc. Really great sounding guitars. They have that old dry sound. But anyway, uh, like always, we appreciate you folks for watching. And uh, if you ever have any questions, just give me a shout. Thanks.